in this milieu of comics made uh, with a children's audience in mind, there's a very interesting figure, Will Eisner. He was around from almost the very beginning of comics as comic books. And he wanted to do not superhero comics for kids, but something that could have the adventure and the humor that was more part of a sophisticated uh, adult audience that he could find by making a spirit section, a comic book for the whole family that would appear with the newspaper. And he started very rapidly absorbing the full implications of that more sophisticated cinema language into comics. Uh, very important are his splash panels. In an eight-page comic book story, the first page would be both the beginning of the story and the cover of the comic book inviting you to come inside. And for those splash panels, he borrowed from expressionist architecture and form. He borrowed from uh, parodies of advertisements so that each first page looked like something else and uh, invited you into some new thing that you couldn't predict until you were inside. He was interested in the idea of making comics for an audience that was uh, more, more mature, more sophisticated, and without the constraints of having to work for a large newspaper audience. And it led him to make these uh, books that other artists had been trying to make as well that came to be known as graphic novels. Eisner said of his own work, I'm interested in making movies on paper. Fortunately, he didn't succeed. He made comics on paper. But if you have to look at it that way, Jack Cole, who was very inspired by Will Eisner, made uh, Tex Avery animated cartoons on amphetamine on paper. It was so manic and so intense that it creates a kind of crackling quality that I can only uh, associate with the kinds of things I saw in those first issues of Mad. And in fact, it's a missing link between Eisner and Mad is Jack Cole. As well as his Manic Plastic Man, he also did some of the most uh, horrific of the crime comics that began to bring the, the uh, censorship of the adult world down on comic books. 